Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about the new Makeup Revolution concealers. They're the newest concealers that everyone kind of has been talking about and I'm also going to be talking about the Colourpop No Filter Concealers because I feel like they're really good dupes or not really dupes because dupes are normally like high-end products that you switch out for low-end products but these are both pretty cheap concealer we have the Colourpop no filter concealer over here which is one of my favorites I've been using this for quite a while and then we have this new one right here which is the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer now this one is ten dollars on the Colourpop website and this one is seven dollars and you can get this one at Ulta so I'm just gonna do a few swatches to show you how they look in comparison in terms of the shade so the shade the two shades that I got from makeup revolution are C12 and C13 I felt like these two would be really good that I could use to contour and highlight and then the concealer shades that I use in the Colourpop one are normally rich tan and deep golden so we're just gonna do a couple of swatches on my hand to let you see how they look beside each other so first I'm gonna do the color pop one and the first color I'm gonna do is rich tan I'm swiping it onto my hand right here so the makeup revolution colors that I got are way lighter than the color pop colors um, especially this one C12 right here is extremely light I would normally use that to highlight if I want a super bright highlight but I will also blend it a little bit a little bit with the 13 the 12 the 13 because it is super light so now that you've seen the swatches make a revolution on top color pop on bottom we're gonna test them out on our face and we're gonna see which one is better I mean in terms of price it's almost the same thing one is seven dollars and one is six dollars if you want to be like technical and be like which one is the cheapest the cheapest of course is the Colourpop ones so let's see what the thing do so on this side I'm gonna put Colourpop and on this side I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution so this is Colourpop Rich Tan right here And deep golden I'm mixing the two of them together and then over here I'm doing C13 And C12. Yeah. So, yeah. This side is Colourpop. This side is Colourpop. And this side is Makeup Revolution. And we're just going to blend them out. And I'm not going to use a beauty blender to blend them out. I'm actually going to use these brushes from Real Techniques. They're exactly the same brush. And... They blend out concealer really, really well without taking too much product away as a beauty blender would. So I really want to see the products as full coverage as they go, pretty much. So let's get into it. I'm going to blend out the cup up side first. And the color pop side looks really nice as I know it to look so we know how color pop operates now let's see with a different brush how makeup revolution acts okay so it seems to be blending out really well it's blending out really well with the brush
So this side is the makeup revolution side. So like it's also blending out really well. Let me just take a mirror and see up close. Okay. Okay, so both of them blending out really well. So let's... Okay, so this is the ColourPop side and this is the side with the Makeup Revolution. Honestly, both sides look really, really well. I can't really say right off the bat, like, oh my god, the ColourPop one looks way better or the Makeup Revolution one looks way better because right now, looking at both of them, they both look really good. So, I do feel like, oh, however... The Makeup Revolution one. Maybe creasing up. Yeah, it's settling into the lines under my eye a little bit more than the ColourPop one. I'm going to use some of my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Both look really good. In terms of color though, I like the deep golden color a little bit more than I would like the C12. Only because the deep golden side has a little bit more warmth to it. And I do like concealers and powders that have a little bit more warmth, a little bit more yellow in it. Because I do have a lot of foundations that run a little bit red. And I use those concealers to even out everything. Um... But all in all, I would say that both of them look really, really good. But there has to be a winner. So, if I have to have to pick just one to use for the rest of my life, pretty much, I honestly would have to pick the ColourPop section and the reason why I'm picking the ColourPop not because it's a dollar cheaper or anything like that um it's because I feel like the color for the um the ColourPop one looks a little bit more and I feel like the ColourPop one gave me a little bit more coverage than the Makeup Revolution one because as I'm looking at the Makeup Revolution one I can see like the darkness that is right here under my eye and on the ColourPop side I can't really see it so I feel like when you blend it out the coverage of the ColourPop one is a tad bit more um maybe I just didn't put enough on the Makeup Revolution side that could also be a factor but I feel like the ColourPop side looks way better I know a lot of people have been comparing the Makeup Revolution one to the Tarte Shape Take Concealer. I personally have never tried the Tarte Shape Take Concealer. Every single time I go to Ulta to get it, it's always... My color Deep was the one that I feel like would be a good highlight shade. Was always sold out. Time and time again, time and time again. It was just so frustrating. Um, So I didn't get to get it. And now... um. I'm kind of over it. I'm really, really loving this ColourPop one. Um, yeah, I've been using it for quite a while and I really love it. If you've tried any of the Makeup Revolution concealers, then please let me know if you love them. I know these come in a total of 18 shades. The ColourPop one, I believe, are 16 shades. And um, one thing that Makeup Revolution definitely has, though, over ColourPop is the shade range. The Makeup Revolution one has quite a variety of light shades 
and a lot of dark shades, deep shades that I could definitely contour with, as opposed to ColourPop. Um, not that many dark shades. I do believe that they probably will extend their shade range um, soon, but so far it's 16 shades to 18 shades. So, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I hope this was very informative for you. If you have any questions, please don't forget to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, and just let be a part of the family fam. Like, just be a part of the family. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really did enjoy the video. And if you did, leave the thumbs up. Don't forget to leave the thumbs up. And stick around for a next video. I'm actually thinking about doing a video about this concealer as well. I recently picked up the Maybelline Adrienne Concealer that they have now extended the shade range for. Finally, we can all try it. And if you guys like to see me do a video on that, please also leave a comment below and be like, do it, do it, do it. Because I'll be happy to do it for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day and bye.